One, one that's old. Welcome back. I guess I'm on this one now. Sorry. Did, didn't know which camera I was on. 724-545-2323. Uh, if you want to get in on the phones right now, we're live from the studios of Family Life TV in downtown Katang, Pennsylvania. And uh, right now... Uh, Tasso Spanos is with us, and we just went over the first half of the show talking about stretching and how important that is. Um, you know, they always taught you that in elementary school, you know, you got to do this, you got to do that. But really, the older you get, there are certain stretches that are therapeutic and very important to us, and he's been teaching us how to do those. But now we have somebody who's with us, and I'm going to ask your name. Shonda Waltenbach. Shonda. Yes. Shonda, glad you're here. And uh, just uh, give us a, the 15-second the, the overview. Of the problem? Yeah. Well, actually, I was in a car accident in 2000. I was hit broadside on my right side of my car, and I was in a little sports car, and I was thrown very hard against my door. And ever since then, constant pain emanating up my neck into my head, severe migraine headaches, and tingling and numbness down my arm. Okay. There you go. Uh, all right. Um, I think what happened to her in the car accident, when was that? 2000, March. Actually, March. What time? It was first thing in the morning. I was going to these a people. final exam, or a exam in a graduate class. Isn't it amazing? These people, <laughs> these people say, they'll say, the year 2000, it's July 1st, 1201. They know because their life went into the sewer mm -hmm. at that moment. And they know what time their life went into the sewer. So this pain isn't killing her. So it's not ending her life. It's only ruining her life. So let's see. We told you that the bungee cord... That the further the bungee cord stretches, the stronger it is. Let's see how far her bungee cord stretches when I drop her dead to the right. So this is the side that hurts her. So her left side hurts her. She has pain in her arm. You have pain in your shoulder blade too? Oh, yes. Does your hand go tingle and numb sometimes? Yes. And are you tender here when I touch you there as compared to this side? More so in the See left. that? In fact, this is swollen and this side feels like a little dimple here. So look at her neck when I bring her this way. See how far she goes this way? And that's her bad side. That's the stretch of it. That's the stretch of the bungee cord. The side that doesn't hurt her, let's see how far it stretches that way. Something's wrong with the other side. So she goes much, much further this way. Much further this way. So one, she goes much further this way, and two, she's short this way. Now, she has something wrong with a muscle called the scalings. There's 250 muscles in the body. This muscle is a third of my practice. And in the book that Dr. Travell, my teacher, President Kennedy's doctor, wrote, we're going to zoom in on this now, on, the, on, this, on this page right here. Let the uh, listen, lo, viewing audience look at this. Can you do that? Yeah. Uh, who do we want? This one right here. Okay. Can you zoom in? All right. Nobody's zooming. You're looking at me. There we go. Okay. There we are. Now, look at the other page. Those are the muscles on that page, but look at this page over here. All right. Right here. And look at, let's get it. Angle there. There we are. Now, the, the, you see where Shonda? See this? It's got pain. It's got. There's pain in in the shoulder blade, and then there's pain in her upper arm. That's the first thing she talked about. There's her tingling hand, and there's the pain in her chest sometimes. So four different doctors are looking for this pain in the wrong place. The chest doctor's looking in the chest. The arm doctor's looking in the arm. The hand doctor's looking in the hand, and the and the shoulder doctor's looking at the shoulder, but look where it's coming from. It's all coming from the neck. It's coming from a throat muscle called the scalenes, named after the scalene triangle of geometry. So here we go. There's three muscles in there, and so she's gonna require, after I treat her, to do exercises in three different directions. So here's the first muscle. Now this muscle can make pain go to the shoulder blade, and you swear that something was wrong with your shoulder blade. And so someone starts massaging the shoulder blade and they give you an injection in the shoulder blade and they, and they, and they, do th they vibrate the shoulder blade and they ultrasound the shoulder blade and it doesn't work. And then your hand starts hurting and tingling. So they look, they look for carpal tunnel problems in the hand. Did they check you for that too? Like maybe you had to, mm -hmm. so they check for carpal tunnel problems in your hands. And then if your chest hurts, if it hurts on the right side here, nobody cares if it hurts, but if it hurts on the left side, then that looks like it's a heart attack. And then of course the pain can go in the upper arm and that looks like a heart attack. So this, uh, this looks like it's a heart attack pain, except it's not because this is a pain coming from a muscle imitating four different pain areas. 
So it gets, confuses many people because the pain goes so far away. So I told you before, there's a leak in the ceiling and a hole in the, a hole in the roof and a leak in the ceiling. This is one hole for leaks. Four leaks. So here we go. We just treated the first one and you saw how far ahead went. Look up now. We picked up a couple inches and then I changed the angle. So if you're stretching at home and you have these pains, you need to hold your shoulder down by holding onto the chair or if you're lying down like she is, putting your hand under your, your butt and taking your other hand and stretching your head to the side. But since there's three muscles, you need to stretch to the side three different ways. You bring the chin up and you stretch to the side. You have the chin straight and you stretch to the side, and then you have the chin up, and you stretch to the side. So you're always stretching to the side, but you're doing it at three different angles, and you must hold on with the left hand. I'm holding her shoulder down, see? Yeah, and I, I wanted to mention that too, because see, right here, and and I'm I'm standing in the light, which is not good. But you're you're treating. This is a treatment you're doing. It's a doing treatment. I'm actually because, treating now because you're finding the muscle. And I'm finding that knot in the muscle that makes the muscle. Can short. you feel that knot? Yes, I feel the knot. You know exactly where that's yeah, at. Right. And she can tell that she's tender here, and I can tell there's a knot here. And over here, it's not tender, and there's no knot there. So where she has the knot is where she's tender. So the whole muscle is in bed. That's why massaging the whole muscle won't work. That's why electrocuting the whole muscle won't work. The whole muscle's not bad. Only where the knots are, uh, is it bad, where the knots are. And I'm treating the knots, so here we go. Now you saw how far she could bring her chin before to their side. Now here we go. All right, now I've treated the three muscles, I've treated them briefly. Treatments at pain, our pain center usually are an hour. Watch this now. Look at her head now. That's what he wanted to do to get, a, to get an upshot of that. He's behind us. See this? Look at her head now. As compared to this. They're both about even now. Now. Feels better. No, I never touch her shoulder blade. Yeah. How's that feel? Feels better. Is it better or is it gone? I wouldn't say it's gone, but it's dramatically improved. Dramatically. How about the pain in the arm? That's the first pain you told me about. That's better, isn't it? I don't feel that at all. That pain's gone. So I don't once, feel that at all. Okay, so two things have happened. Mm -hmm. How about your tingling hand? That's gone. Yeah, it feels good. And remember I touched you here and you said this was sensitive? Yeah. As compared to this? Yes. It's not sensitive anymore. Mm -mm. So none of these... Let's do that one more time because we want to see... Right, right here. Ready right here. Mm -hmm. This is not sensitive anymore on her chest. And you saw that pain before on the chest and this side, now they're equal. So this pain is gone. This pain is gone. The tingling hand's gone. And the, and the thing in the back and the shoulder is mostly gone. All four pains were coming from the throat. No one had ever treated From the throat? Nothing. From the throat muscle. Here's what happened. She went over in the car accident. Mm -hmm. She went over there, and her head went snapped down like this mm -hmm. and smashed this little hole. It's called the thoracic outlet. She smashed the thoracic outlet. Show that again. Show where she hurt. She went she... like this. Boom! Very quickly. Let's say, you're, you're, let's say you're driving in a car, and you're holding onto the steering wheel, and suddenly the steering wheel goes... Boom, right up, and your shoulders go up like that because of the steering wheel. You fall on the ground, you put your hand, you fall on the ice, you put your hand out, and your shoulder goes like this. Boom, and this half second of an accident is causes you pain for 20 years. Mm -hmm. She's been going since 2000. She comes in here to an evening performance here, and three pains are gone. This is ridiculous. Where have you been for this pain? I've actually had two MRIs, one on a shoulder, and, that, and then the, I had a second one on my shoulder again. Because the shoulder hurts. Mm -hmm. but, but there's nothing wrong with it. Would they find anything with the MRI? All they said was there is some tendinopathy. So that, means, that means that the tendon has got irritation to it. Mm -hmm. But that's not an answer. That's mm -hmm. just sort of an observation. But if she was older, if she was the age of your mother, well, she's got arthritis. Why? Because she's old enough to have arthritis. But the arthritis may not be causing the pain. Mm -hmm. Does um, it still hurt? It feels dramatic. Like, it just feels so much better. I, I, I wouldn't say Are that it's surprised? totally good. Yeah, very surprised. But I could even tell those stretches Your dramatically stretches help. helped. Dramatically. But nobody else ever taught you this? No. The, this is interest home, interesting home remedy. I ride dirt bikes, and I wear helmets that are heavy. And sometimes, that if I put that helmet on, that weight, and laying my head to the side, 
would actually make it feel a little better. But then after riding and wearing a helmet for a period of time, that so would he, aggravate So she adds his six, seven pounds under her head, see? And to get that and, weight. And, and it's, what it's doing is putting a tension on this thing, mm -hmm. and it's sloppily, sloppy, stretching it. Yeah. What happens when you have a calf cramp at night? You sloppy, get out of bed and stretch it. You don't do it perfect, but you do it enough to feel better. Mm -hmm. And she's on the verge of finding out what was wrong with her, but no one's paying attention to her because the pain in her back, how could that come from the throat? The pain in her, sh in her chest, how could that come from the throat? The pain in her arm and her hand, how could it come from the throat? Show me, uh, so while, they're, while they're zoomed on you, show me on her neck, on your neck, where that, where that pain was. Uh, well, the, the, the pain, the, the pain, where the, where where, the I'm muscle I'm sorry, where the muscle is. Where I'm sorry, muscle, I'm saying the wrong yeah. thing. This muscle is called right here. This muscle is called here. Here we are. This muscle here is, is called the sternocleidomastoid. That's the muscle that causes the headache around the eye. That's your one guideline, okay? And then this muscle back here, remember we were stretching this before by doing those three stretches? That's the trapezius. So there's this trapezius back here, and here's the sternocleidomastoid right here. And the scalenes are in that hole between those two, between those two markers. And it's very hard to stretch that because it needs three different angles. The hand must be held down because it goes to the ribs. And if the ribs come up, you're not going to get a proper stretch. Every third person I see has this problem because the pain, four different pains are so far away from the origin. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, I had, a, I had a, uh, a, I'm treating the other side for her and making her even because she'll start to, she'll start to compensate for this side. But I had a, a, um, a tattoo artist who had the same pain as her. And I said, and I said, you know, every third person ha I see has this pain. She says, what do you mean? I said, uh, uh, there's 250 muscles in the body. One muscle I just see a third of the time. She says, what do you mean? I says, y you have a tattoo shop. Yeah. You have 250 designs. Yes. You have one design. Every third person wants that design. She says, uh, I don't have a tattoo like that. I says, I do have a tattoo like that. It's called the scalings. Because the pain that it makes is so far away. You're fooling four different doctors. You can't fool, you can fool one doctor, but you can't fool, fool the arm doctor, the arm doctor, the back doctor, and the chest doctor. It's a very important thing that we discussed tonight because this is so prevalent out there not being fixed. And yet you say one third of the people you see have this problem. Not because one, if I were to go in Catania and stop one out of three people, they would not have it. Only one three out of people who comes to see me have it because they've already had a problem. They've had a problem, and so they've, they've come to see me. I don't see the average person. I don't see people who don't have the problem. I see people who have the problem, and obviously one out of three have ended up having this particular reason for the problem. When he did this to you tonight, what did you feel? Yes. What, what, did it hurt? A little, I mean, it's a tender. little bit. It's, yeah, it's that tender. would be a good word. It's tender. Yes. But it wasn't painful. It was relieving. It was in like some putting an like, injection into you or it, something like that. Yeah, no. It was just, it was relieving. But she's her color tonight. Her color, she's gotten pink since she's been in here. Her eyes have gotten very, very bright. And uh, the, her eye is a lot lighter looking. You know, when you get sick and you have pain, a, a darkness comes over your eyes. The, the green eyes become hazel. The hazel eyes become brown, you know. And you can, t you can tell. There was this, this uh, Afro-American gentleman recently. I said, what color are your eyes? He says, dark brown. What color? Dark brown? He says, yeah, dark brown. No, your, your eyes are light brown. My eyes are light brown? We looked in the mirror and says, I'm just, my eyes have been light brown for years. I said, well, that's your normal color when you're not hurting, mm -hmm. when you're not hurting. Pain is terrible. It, just, it's, it, it robs you of your life. It makes you depressed. It makes you all sorts of problems start happening with that. And this is very solvable if it's a muscle problem. People come to see us, they see us for about an hour. But you saw, just in 15 or 5 minutes, we're able to make a huge change. Just doing the right exercises makes a, makes a big difference. All right. Anyone tonight who would like to have at home would like to have a sheet of paper with all the neck exercises, call that number, 412 431-9180 and we'll be glad to send you a free copy of